My name is Sherry Berger. It's S H E R R I B E R G E R. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Ma'am, did you know somebody by the name of Samantha Wolf? Yes. And how long, uh, how long did you know Miss Wolf? Well, I'll have to do the math. I'm 41, and I've known Samantha since I was about 13 or 14. So help me out here. <laughs> so a, a many number, years. Many yeah. years. Okay. What was, um, what was your relationship with, with Miss Wolf? Uh, Samantha and I met uh, at uh, summer camp, and then we ended up going to the same high school together. Uh, and then uh, I would say we just were kind of lifelong friends is how I would characterize a relationship. Um, the type of people that, you know, we lived many different places, um, but we always kind of came back to each other as um, that kind of long-term, you know, friendship relationship. And um, how close would you say you were with her uh, at the time of her death in October? <laughs> you know, the, the thing about Sam and I is I, I always felt very, very close with her. I actually would consider her one of my best friends. Yet, I did not see her on the regular because I didn't live in the same city with her for many years. So we would talk every, sometimes go as long as six months or so without talking to each other. So I, I would consider ourselves very close and yet I, I you know, was not always sort of in uh, the uh, actual proximity to her, her day-to-day life. Okay, and, and do, you live, uh, do you live in the Detroit area currently? I do not, I live in Washington, D.C. Okay, and um, when was the last time Um, I uh, planned a trip to visit uh, with Sam uh, in what ended up being the weekend before uh, she died. So it was the, uh, I, I, the actual dates escaped me, but it was this past October, um, and it was the Friday to the Sunday uh, before uh, her death. The, and would that be the week before? The week before, yes. And... Um, what um, what brought you to I, I guess from Michigan for that for that particular trip? Um, I had a family wedding. Uh, some of my family st- I, I grew up here, um, and uh, some of my family still lives here. Uh, so I had a wedding to attend. Uh, the wedding was at the Gem Theater, which is just a stone's throw from Sam's house. And when I kind of put that together, she offered me to stay with her. So I turned it into a visit also with her at her home. And. Um, did you end up staying at Miss Wolf's home that weekend? I did, Friday and Saturday nights. And how much time would you say you spent uh, with Miss Wolf the weekend that you stayed at her home? A, a fair amount. Um, I uh, came in Friday, kind of late afternoon, and I spent several hours with her before the rehearsal dinner. I spent Saturday morning uh, with her before she went to attend services, and then I spent. Um, really the majority of Sunday together with her because neither of us had other obligations until I left for my flight midday, maybe 1 or so p.m. And um, when you were staying at her home, what what sort of access did you have to get inside of her house? Uh, Sam gave me a key uh, to actually go in and out her front door. It was the first thing she did when I arrived um, from uh, the airport when I got to her home. And if you saw a photo of that key, would you would you recognize it? The keychain, yes. I'm not sure about the key, but the keychain, yes. The keychain yes. you would recognize? Absolutely, okay. yes. Um, I want to show you what's been admitted as uh, page 237 of Exhibit appear on the screen momentarily. Um, does, does that photograph look familiar to you? Yes. And, and what, um, what's your sort of familiarity with what's shown there? Um, well, the uh, keychain w- is just really uh, memorable to me because I remembered it being you know, rainbow colored with the Hebrew letters. Um, and then additionally, uh, in the uh, week after the um, uh, the after things kicked off, I was sent. Uh, a, I, I was FaceTiming with a, a state trooper. Had me look at the photo to identify that that was the key. Okay. And um, did when you were staying at Miss Wool's home, um, did 
did you happen to notice whether there was a lockbox on her front door? I didn't. Okay, so the you didn't see one? No. Okay, and um, when you were staying at Miss Wool's home, other than using the key to get into the house, was there, was there anything else that you needed to do to, to get inside? No. To your knowledge, um, did you happen to notice whether or not she had an alarm system? I didn't. Um, but in your sort of comings and goings from the home, um, was there any need to arm or disarm an, an alarm system or anything like that? No. Okay. Um, during the time that you stayed with Miss Wool uh, that weekend, um, how, um, I, I guess, how, how in depth were your conversations with her? I mean, fairly in depth because we were catching up after, you know, our kind of usual many months hiatus and uh, uh, we spoke at length about, you know, her um, amazing work at the synagogue and kind of all of the renovation work that was underway there. So kind of professionally, her career, a little bit her love life, um, friends that she kept in touch with, people from high school, that kind of thing. And um, again, we can't get into specifics of what was said in these conversations, but, but based on your conversations with Miss Wool, um, did were there any concerns raised about her safety? No. Were there any concerns raised about um, any romantic interests or people she was involved with? Not concerns. Um, I, you know, she. I, I knew that she was had recently ended a relationship or had left a relationship and um, you know but it, it c concerns from a kind of a emotional vantage point you know around you know her desire to still be with someone and find a match but um, nothing no concerns um, in terms of any danger or anything like that if that's what you mean yeah so did, did you know her, I guess, to express any concerns about her safety? No. Any concerns about anybody threatening her? No. Any concerns about her having any sort of enemies? No. Um, any concerns about her having any sort of conflict with anybody? Not conflict, no. I mean, the usual kind of work, you know, challenges in the workplace and that kind of thing, but conflict, no. Um, and you knew Miss Wool for, uh, I guess it'd be 24? I, I'm sorry. I'll take your word for it, yeah. O over two decades, yes. right? Yes. And um, did you get a sense of her personality, obviously, during the time that you, you were friends with her? Yes. And what was her sort of personality like in, in general? I... Um, eternally optimistic, I guess I would say. I think Sam um, was j just like bubbly to an extent and her enthusiasm was really infectious and contagious. When I first met Sam, she was wearing um, purple contact lenses in the seventh grade or whatever and, and she was um, just vibrant and always wanting to help people and kind of share her love of um, things with others and and that that's um, I don't in so far as those are personality traits those are the things that you know uh, most stand out to me about her and and why I loved her and when you were with her the weekend before her death did she seem like she was herself or did she seem like something was off oh I'm <laughs> and in spades and in fact my kind of overarching feeling leaving that weekend with her, um, and I think I even said as much to her, was that I really felt she had kind of recently come into her own, and um, she was really um, able to do kind of professionally and um, was really spreading her wings in ways that I had always hoped for her, and I think she was really uh, kind of self-actualized in a way that I hadn't really seen previously. And. Um At some point, um, when you were visiting uh, Michigan that weekend, um, did you ultimately go to the wedding? Yes. Um, and um, did you bring the key to the wedding with you? 
I did not. Um, and kind of uh, after making such a production of me getting the key and having it, um, I ended up being rather on the late side, returning to Sam's house to get ready for the wedding. So in that process, I um, had carried the key all day long with me in my like, I guess I would call it my day purse, <laughs> you know, and then I changed into my wedding clothes and I forgot to take the key out of the purse I'd used all day and put it in the kind of fancy, you know, uh, uh, nighttime purse. And um, so I went to the wedding without the key, actually, as it turned out. And um, was the wedding was the wedding on uh, Saturday night? Or Saturday, Saturday night. night? Yeah. Okay. And when um, did you ultimately leave the wedding and go back to Miss Wool's home that night? I did. Yeah. And. Um, it sounds like you did not have the key on you physically at that point, correct? Correct. And do you remember approximately what time you got back to her home? I want to say about 12.30 a.m. were you able to still get inside the house? I was. I had, I had called her before I left the wedding um, and said, you know, oh my gosh, I realized I left the key at your house. What am I going to do when I get there? I, I texted her a few times. Um, when I called her, it sounded like I had woken her up. Um, and so she kind of groggily said, yes, I'll be able to get in. And um, when, you, when you got home, when you got back to her home, were you, able to, were you able to get into the house? Yes. And how was it that you were able to get into the house? The, the door was unlocked. And um, when you got into the house, was Miss Wool home? Yes. And um, where was she? She was um, upstairs in um, the guest bedroom in the bed. And was she awake or asleep? She was pretty much asleep, okay. groggy, kind of, because I woke her up. Um, and, and in your sort of discussions with Miss Wall the weekend that you were with her, did um, was there any specific discussion about um, her most recent ex-boyfriend? Yes. And was his name Jeff? Yes. And w was there anything... I guess anything concerning or, or alarming or anything that, that caught your attention about your discussions that you had with, with Miss Wool about that ex-boyfriend? Concerning or alarming? No. Okay, okay thank you. Nothing further. Good morning. Good morning. So, Miss Ber Ber Berger. Yeah. Berger, thank you. Uh, so, Miss Berger, I heard you speaking a lot about um, about Miss Wall, and you had mentioned the work that she did, correct? Mm hmm Now, yes. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, it sounded from the way that you were describing it that her work was something she was very passionate about. Very. Fair to say that you would describe her as a strong individual? Yes. Would you describe her as having a fighting spirit? Yes. Okay. Um, what, I just wanted to ask you, what was it that you meant when you said that she was coming into her own? I meant that Sam, I think, for a while, Sam had a tremendous amount of energy and passion and desire to do good, and I think it took her a little while to figure out how best to apply that professionally. Okay. In her 20s, she was sort of bouncing around a little bit, and I really felt she had hit her stride. Okay. That's wonderful. Um, now, I want to ask you, so you had said that you would come to visit her. Uh, would it be fair to say that it, that would have been October 13th of 2023? I believe so. If that's the Friday... Yes. Okay. Yeah. And when previous to that had you seen her in person? Well, because of the pandemic, I think it had been some years. Okay. I, I saw her on at, in, in a virtual universe for my baby shower uh, the summer before. But prior to that, it may have been when she had last visited Washington, D.C., Okay. Um, well, let's talk about the, st the stay that you had there. So you said that she had given you a key, right? Yes. 
fair to say you were using the key to come in and out? I, as it turned out, I really had, Sam was present, I think, every time I came back to the house. But did you use the key to come in and out? Honestly, I can't remember. Okay. Um, how often did you come in and out of that home without her present? Without her present, not at all. How about with her present? Well, so when I arrived Friday afternoon, that was the first time we went for a walk. So together we left and then came back. Saturday morning we went for a walk and then came back. Um, then we went our separate ways. Then I came back to prepare for the wedding, at which point um, she and a friend were in her apartment or in her home. Um, then I went to the wedding and came back. And then Sunday morning we were together going you know, in and out once or twice. Now, you had said that the prosecutor had asked you about that lockbox, right? A lockbox, yes. He yeah. asked you about a lockbox. Yeah. Now, your response was that you didn't see it. Correct. So, fair to say that, well, I don't want to say fair to say, let me ask you this. So, was it there and you didn't see it or it wasn't there? I, I don't know. You just don't know. Because she gave me a key when okay. I arrived. Well, let me ask you this too. So, you, the prosecutor also asked you about Jeffrey Herbsman, right? Yes. Did you understand that the, the breakup between Samantha and Jeffrey was not mutual? Sort of. I mean... Did you understand that she broke up with him? That was how I understood it at the time. Did you understand that she had broken up with him multiple times before the final breakup? Not really, although I got a sense that it was sort of a on-again, off-again kind of a thing. Did you get a... Did you understand that he was unhappy about the fact that they had finally ended things? Judge objection, and I'm not sure how she can testify to Mr. Herbstman's state of mind. Okay. Um, You said that when you came back from the wedding that the, the door was unlocked. Correct. Was it open? You mean ajar? Correct. No. Okay. So you also said that you, that Samantha was awake? Yes. Now, did you know that she was awake or did you have to wake her up? I didn't rouse her but when I went upstairs I wasn't you know I'd, I'd spoken to her on the phone not that long previously so I and I had just come from a wedding so I was like oh I don't know if Sam's up to talk or wh where she's at so I it, you know and I said the guest room because she had actually very generously given me her room to sleep in for that weekend so I went into the guest room and I saw her in the bed groggy like and I said hi I'm home I can't tell you if I woke her up or not. Or if she was sort of half asleep. But she was obviously had been sleeping. Did you know Samantha to smoke weed? Yes. One second. Questions from the jury? I don't see any. Yes. Thank you, Mammy, Mr. Pell. Thank you.